total winos. <laughs> Get chewy. Right. Hello, 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 hello. Sean Brady, regular wine guy, coming to you pre-recorded. Getting ready for my dry January. It's December 2021. I got my man, Jayton B. Gunter, out in California, IA, eh? Somali extraordinaire, and publisher of many fine written words. Jay, how you doing, my man? I am very, very well, man. I'm very, very well. Like, kind of looking to see uh, the end of this crazy year um, happen, you know, and kind of excited about next year. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun, man. I think we're going to be on, a, we're going to take these guys on a nice little ride uh, next year with all the stuff we have planned uh, for this content out of, from us total winos over here. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. How about you? How are you doing over there? How's the weather out there? You know, we're, uh, we're in December. It's a weird December. It's a weird time in the world. So we're, you know, on the, the cusp of Omicron, COVID-19, every whatever variant they're rolling into. Uh, but the weather is also very strange. We've had very, very warm days. We've had, se- I'm in here in Missouri, uh, uh, St. Louis area, and we've had 70 degree days. Today it's, uh, you know, 51. I woke up, it was 37. That's not unnormal. But for it to get that high up into, uh, you know, pushing 60 or, you know, higher is not normal uh, in December. So, you know, there's, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm looking forward to a whole bunch of things too, uh, you know, future uh, wine extravaganzas and tastings and mm-hmm. uh, just collaboration with you and a other, bunch of other fine restaurants and people uh, locally and across the country. So uh, just really, really fun stuff. I love it. I love it. So like with this episode, we're kind of like chilling. Like we're, we have a lot of stuff planned for uh, starting back in February and January, we just kind of wanted to do like more of a, um, you guys getting to know us a little bit better. Um, Cause we, I mean, we just kind of jumped right into this about the wine stuff, but you guys don't really know about us and who we are and why we love this stuff so much. And so um, basically we're total winos. <laughs> we love- We are a couple of total winos. Total winos. The reason we even uh, came up with the titles cause we both love total wines. And that was like the that was the original idea behind the name, but I believe that we've evolved to like try bringing other stuff in here too. But again, the origination of the name was because we both like Total Wines. We wanted to find some place that was accessible to everybody because we know Total Wines is all over the nation, all over the United States, and so it's an easy way to like if we're breaking down a wine to be able to like look, you can find us at Total Wines, but we also are you know dealing with Trader Joe's now and other places like that. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of the reason our name came about. Also, um, how did we, like, let them, let's, let's talk about how we actually got together, how we met, man. Like, this, it's kind of, I think it's a kind of an interesting story. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was a great story. So, I was out in uh, San Francisco with my wife, and we were going to uh, an anniversary celebration up to Sonoma. And there was uh, five couples, and we, we got to San Francisco early. And so we're, you know, we're, we're going out on a date. We didn't have one, any of our four kids around. So let's, let's go out on a date. And uh, we didn't know the area too well, but we just kind of walked along and we happened upon this wine bar and uh, I'm like, yeah, this looks cool. And, you know, something different. And, you know, I tar- start talking to this guy and he's like, you know, he's kind of helping me with the wine list. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been doing these wine videos and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I call myself the regular wine guy, but what, what's good here? You know, I'm just trying to learn more and find out more about, you know, what's, what, 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 what's great to experience today. And then uh, he's like, this person was just like getting into all these different wines and like this. And I think I tried like three or four different glasses and it was a lot of fun. My wife and I split them and stuff, but then we, uh, we just kept talking and it's like, yeah, I got this new book I just released. I'm like, you like, you wrote a book? What? That's awesome. On wine? And he's like, yeah. And it was called Fruit in Glass. And I'm like, this is awesome. I'm good. Can you sign it? He's like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and that was J. Tom V. Gunter, my man right there. Yeah. And uh, I took a picture of him. And, you know, years later, of course, we know we stayed in touch. Mm-hmm. But uh, we really started connecting uh, during COVID yeah. because, you know, we're, we're all at home and, you know, we're doing the social media thing in a whole different way. 
And uh, we connected and we just started doing, uh, you know, our regular wine vlogs, if you will, because, yeah. you know, we love it so much. I mean, there's, you know, uh, Jay, for people who don't know, is a second level sommelier. And, you know, certainly we can, you can talk more about yourself in a moment, but I'll brag on you a little bit. <laughs> you know, he's just been doing all these great things with wine and you can tell by uh, somebody who just has a passion for something and a flair for something. He's like, he's like, oh, wait, I found out this. He's like, did you know this? I'm like, going, yeah, I knew that. But did you know this? He's like, no, I didn't know that. So it's <laughs> exciting to find out and learn more about this oniology world, if you will, and, you know, all the vines and the different varietals and things like that. It's just super fun and exciting. So hopefully that comes through and you guys get a great sense and gals a great sense of uh, oh, why, why, why we love this stuff. Yeah, man. I think that was the reason that I get my thing is so when you came into the restaurant, I feed off of like energy. So like if I'm always going to the table and I'm trying to figure out what their energy is. Sometimes they really are about wine. Sometimes they don't like wine at all and they're just trying to taste it, you know, and enjoy themselves. And so when I run across somebody who's like really interested, I could tell their eyes are open and they want to know more about wine. I get excited, and so I, as I'm breaking out breaking down wine and I'm bringing all these tasting and tastes and whatever. Uh, you were you're getting as excited as I was, and I was like, okay, this is one. Of, this is part of my tribe. This is a this is another wine guy. We're gonna be friends, and so that's why I got so excited about it. And that's I like the fact that we stayed in contact after that. I remember us taking a photo, uh, me signing your book, and we just kind of like behind the scenes, we're just like you know kind of cheering each other on, like yo, that was dope that you just did this. Keep on going and stuff. So it's really cool to see us now working together, building together um, this new like kind of venture with uh, Total Winos. I'm. I am, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about wine, guys. Um, I, I love wine. I, I try to, uh, it, it, it's part of the process of me being creative. And so that's what actually made me get into it even further because I'm a writer. That's what I really do. That's my main thing. And um, because I write, things that helped me to write or were part of my process of writing was always having a glass of wine, some good music, and me being in my little bubble of like, you know, creating characters, plot lines and stuff like that. Wine's always been part of that process. And so uh, the more I drank it, the more I got inspired by what was going on in the glass. And then also wanted to understand the history because I'm a history buff. Want to understand the history behind each glass. And so uh, when he brought up the idea of us like collaborating and doing something like this, because we're both very passionate about wine, I was like, yeah, I'm on. Let's go. Like, I don't care about money. I don't care about none of that. Let's just educate. Let's put this out and let's just like see who, who uh, can learn something from this. Because I... Deep in my heart, other than the writing, I just want to educate people about wine. I want to be able to, you know, be their go-to for information. And, and no one knows everything. But I always want to be that person that if you have a question, you can always come to ask me. And if I don't know it, I'll find that answer out for you. And so that's one of the reasons why I enjoy what we're doing. I'm enjoy, I enjoy hanging out with Sean and talking wine because, you know, we're just, we're just having a good time. We're just some regular wine guys and we're just drinking wine. And so that was one of the reasons why I think this works very, very, very well, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, and I, I have to underline, you know, the, the regular wine guy. You know, I use that hashtag a lot. Uh, but and the one thing that I was drawn to Jay about was there was uh, like not a lot of pretentiousness around wine. It was just very approachable, and you know, that's that's the way I think wine should be enjoyed. Is you know, there's yeah, I've been in uncomfortable situations where I was uncomfortable. Uh, with my knowledge level. And, you know, I felt like I'm like, oh, no, I'm kind of the dunce in the class here. And I don't like that. But I'm like, that, that, that's not an atmosphere where it fosters learning and growth and uh, really enjoyment of the thing. And my gosh, there's, there's many things to enjoy. And, you know, some people start off with super sweet wines. That's and, true. Uh, you know, there's, there's a, doesn't mean they can't transition to something uh, on a different level, uh, or just, you know, continue on, continue with their palate, whatever, wherever their palate takes them. Uh, there's sure. something fun to learn and experience, whether it be going to a vineyard or going to a tasting room, going to a restaurant and just enjoying something different that pairs with food in a whole new way. And I mean, shoot, even if it's like a fast food restaurant, it's just right, cool. Right. Like keeping it real, I went through a white Zinfandel. I don't tell anybody, I went through a white Zinfandel. Uh, period <laughs> when I first got into wine <laughs> and uh, I, I quickly got out of that but like because I got a headache one night the next day after having binged with a bunch of friends 
a bunch of white zip white Zinfandel in the park. And I said, yeah, I don't know if I like this anymore. And then I started tasting the real rosés and I was like, oh, I definitely don't like that stuff anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we all go through our stages. We all have our, uh, our ways of getting into the industry or getting into loving wine. And, um, you know, I, I just tend to like not be pretentious and want to meet you at where you're at and like, let's just have some fun with wine. So that's the idea. Just so you guys know too, going forward, um, January again is my man Sean's uh, dry January. And so uh, we're going to be putting out content, but they're going to be more of content that is um, you getting to know us. We're going to be talking about wine a little bit too, of course, but we're going to be like, we, we want you to know who we are as people. And so January will be mostly focused on that. I'll be drinking still, uh, but my boy Sean uh, will be trying to do a little dry thing, which is smart because everybody I know in the industry right now is doing the same thing. I'm just, I refuse. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, also in February, we have, we'll be back, be back to normal. Uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. And I believe that um, you guys are going to enjoy what we have coming up soon. I think you guys are really going to enjoy what we got going on. Because uh, we're cooking up for you guys, man, for real. Um, and yes, yeah, Sean, any 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 other things to let them know before we uh, get out of here? You know, for this episode, uh, this is again, it's a great little sneak peek into our lives and you know what we're doing, what we're creating. What you know, we we would love to have a group of people interested in wine like we are. And whether we have you know ten followers or ten thousand or a hundred thousand, it doesn't matter. We're going to keep on doing this stuff. We're already talking about plans and getting together and going on our, our different wine escapades with food and pairings and uh, just you know really just experiencing all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I think even just planning for that. And I don't know about you, Jay, but for me, I've really expanded just how I taste and why I taste. Uh, uh, more than even just the consumption of wine. Don't get me wrong. I love the consumption of wine. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to do a 30 day dry spell. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it is exciting to just find out, discover all these things. And then the regions of the terroir and, uh, you know, the varietals of the grape and how the farmers grow things. And uh, it's, it's just really, it's really cool stuff. So if this excites you at all, a little bit, or you're interested in finding out about it, you may want to ring that bell, yes, click sir. that like button, follow us, follow me, follow Jay. We're doing different things, but we're definitely doing an awesome collaboration here on Total Winos. So, uh, Jay, you want to finish it up with anything, or do I do my sign-off? I want to say cheers to everybody that's been following us thus far, and I hope that we get a lot more people trying to check in with us because we really want to engage and talk about wine. And Cheers, guys. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better. So wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, we appreciate you. Hope you're enjoying our content. And wherever you're at, we may not see you in person, but we're always going to see you right here on social media. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Total Winos. <laughs> Get chewy.